It's a not a done deal. After months of negotiations, American lawmakers have failed to make a breakthrough in last-ditch talks. The sequester is happening, meaning automatic cuts will slash Washington's military and domestic spending by $85 billion this year. RT's Guyana Chichikan takes a look at why this could prove a headache in the U.S. and beyond. Let me begin with where this sequester comes from. For a long time, Congress has been in gridlock over what to cut, paralyzed. But everybody knows spending cuts are absolutely necessary to balance the budget. At some point, Washington came to a conclusion that only in an atmosphere of crisis they can solve something. So they manufactured the crisis. Not the first time, by the way. They're actually getting into the habit of doing that. The previous one was the fiscal cliff two months ago. Now it's the sequester. Let's see who may soon pay for Washington's self-scaring tactics. Nationwide, 750,000 jobs are on the line. The thing about automatic cuts is that agencies and departments don't get to decide what to put on the cutting board. It's supposed to cut the defense funding by 10 percent. Now, a lot of people think that the Pentagon's humongous budget does need some serious trimming. Until now, Congress has been generally reluctant to do that, and the Pentagon's budget only grew. But the sequester doesn't care what to cut, so it's going to cut veteran support programs and other things that are going to hurt thousands of people in the military. The cuts could also lead to the closing of hundreds of air control towers, making it harder for planes to take off and land, and a reduced number of Border Patrol agents would lead to delays at the ports of entry, among other things. Also, 600,000 women will lose assistance from the government's women, infants, and children program. Uh, as a result of cuts to federal f uh, spending on local education, 10,000 teachers and 8,000 other staff could lose their job, again, nationwide. And this will affect each and every state. No, no exception. Excuse me. Just a few examples. I don't know. Let's take Kentucky. 11,000 civilians working for the Pentagon are facing possible uh, unpaid leave there. Uh, the state of Illinois, we can take, uh, would see half a billion dollars in cuts to spending for law enforcement and crime prevention. In, uh, in Virginia, uh, 90,000 civilian Defense Dep Department employees would also be furloughed. And it's not just the states. It's no breaking news that we now live in a very interconnected world and that this manufactured storm created on Capitol Hill will most certainly cause ripples across the globe. The IMF confirms that. They're saying there will be an impact on global growth. Economists are talking about how vulnerable European markets are. One economist is writing this could further delay the European recovery, recovery just long enough for something to go wrong in one country and send Europe into a severe contraction, and that would have a backlash in the U.S. So pretty powerful for an artificial crisis. The sequester may be a manufactured crisis, but America's deficit problem is not. It is very real. The country is running a huge deficit. Washington keeps spending and borrowing but fails to balance the budget. And economists say that could have serious long-term effects on global economy. In Washington, I'm going to check in. Professor of Political Economy Jack Rasmus believes the new cuts will only bring more uncertainty to the global economy. I think the psychological effects of America can't get its, uh, its uh, fiscal house in, in order will have an impact not only on, on U.S., as we've talked about, uh, but I think it will cause more uncertainty. You see, uncertainty is a, is a key economic variable uh, across the globe. And uh, I think, um, you know, once again, the whole issue of does austerity solve the problem uh, will be an, a big issue, and uh, as a result, I, I think we'll turn more globally towards uh, uh, monetary tools, quantitative easing, uh, but that has uh, big problems in uh, precipitating currency wars. Uh, so we'll see what, what happens with, on the monetary side, uh, and that will be an outcome of all this, I think.